we're incorporating my new wheelchair into our training sessions more and more. Saturday morning everyone well today is better than yesterday which I'm thankful for no more IVIG side effects my narcolepsy was pretty decent last night but of course there's still my chronic pain my joints and muscles are hurting took me a while to convince my body to get out of bed today but hey I am up that is a success but my feeding tube pump was going off a lot last night the alarm was going off more than usual and that's because there was a kink in the tubing it was kinked here like this and then when there's no flow the alarm will sound and I would fix the kink and go back to sleep but it would go off again and that's because the kink was really bad it just couldn't be fixed so I am priming a new feedback because that's what happens sometimes so priming just sucking the formula through the tubing all right I'm getting my nutrition and see, this is part of the, like a big reason why I want to go on day feeds because with night feeds, I move around a lot and tangle up the tubing and kink it. So the alarm goes off every night, multiple times a night. It's very disruptive to sleeping. It doesn't usually go off that much though. Last night, that was an exception of how much it went off. It went off like more than 10 times. So I don't know why I didn't just change the feed bag last night. I think I was just tired and not thinking straight but anyways it's fine now I see my GI doctor on Monday so maybe he'll give me an estimate of when we can start transitioning to day feeds so that'll be good and you know I've been thinking about it I wonder if our mattress is contributing to my pain I mean it's not the main cause of my pain but it could be making things worse this thing is I think like 10 years old and Judd and I recently went to a mattress store because we already know what mattress and what bed we're getting. We're going to get an adjustable one. And they have financing, which makes it affordable. So I think we're just going to go for it sooner rather than later. I don't really know why we're waiting. If it's like, if there's a chance that changing our mattress and getting an adjustable bed could help with my pain, might as well go for it. I made it downstairs and... I really wanted to do my exercises today. I didn't do it the day of IVIG. I didn't do it yesterday, but I don't think my pain is at a good level to do my exercises. It's about finding a balance, which is rough because I like to do my exercises every day. They're good for my POTS. They're good for my EDS, even though they make me feel worse for the time being. In the long run, they'll help. But my pain management doctor says that Pain is your body's way of saying you need to take it easy, there's a problem. So with my pain levels being higher than usual, I'm not going to push it. So instead, I will do some fun training drills with Harlow, who's asking for attention. <laughs> some basic drills and body awareness exercises that we did with Harlow regarding the wheelchair. This is a new tool. It has different dimensions than my transport chair. And the more aware she is of where her body is in relation to the chair, the safer she and I will be. Because dogs actually don't know they have hind legs. You have to make them aware of it through certain exercises. And I have a tutorial for that here. But Harlow has great body awareness. Now, oh, the carrots. <laughs> Now she's learning about it in relation to this new tool. 
and we did finish where she heels on the left, side where she heels on the right, and we did reverse where she walks backwards around the chair in a circle. That's a great body awareness exercise, and she had never done it with this wheelchair before, so I'm really, really proud of her for that. Now we're gonna work on a new command, which is called behind. All I wanna be able to do is give this hand signal and say behind, and then she'll walk directly behind the chair, and that's good if we're going through doorways or other narrow spaces so everybody's safe. I don't want her to get squished out. I've never trained this before, so all I'm gonna do is say Harlow, behind, guide her back with a tree. Good girl! And when she's directly behind the chair, that's when I would click with the clicker. I usually use a clicker when I'm teaching her brand new commands, but I don't know where the clicker is, so this is fine. Behind. Good girl! Harlow, behind. Good. Oh my god, she just grabbed my wedding ring and not the tree. <laughs> you goof. <laughs> the tricky part about this is her learning to be straight behind me and not have her butt out to the side here. But if we're going through a narrow aisle in a grocery store or a doorway, the items around us will help keep her in line with the chair. So I'm not totally worried about it. You're going to learn and do so well. And of course, we're still practicing with her opening doors for me and we're practicing the button pushing for handicap buttons when we're out in public. So we're incorporating my new wheelchair into our training sessions more and more, and then when we're out in public, we'll work on things too, just so the two of us can become a great team with this new tool. And what I really love about this dog is she thoroughly enjoys her work, learning new things, and helping me. So while I have her to keep me independent and safe from my chronic illnesses, she also really, really loves what she does, and that brings me so much joy as well. Oh, that was an incredible training session. Really, really proud of Harlow and the progress she's making, but did aggravate my joints a bit and I'm starting to get a headache. It's pretty obvious that the ketamine is totally out of my system now. Since the ketamine, I had absolutely no headaches and no migraines, but they're starting to come back. My pain just isn't as well controlled without it, so my body is struggling a bit, but hope is not lost because I see my pain management doctor on Tuesday, and I'm confident we'll come up with a good game plan. But for now, I'm going to rest with the heating pad on my hips and an ice pack on my head. While I am feeling a little better, Honestly, I still feel rough, but hanging in there. And I was able to help my mom because she's moving today and I can actually show y'all where she's moving to. She's gonna be right across the inlet there in that building area right there. So really close by. I'm really thankful she gets to stay in our neighborhood. For those of y'all who don't know, and you may not know because my mom hasn't been in the vlogs lately, she's just been really busy with work. She's a middle school Spanish teacher loves her job, but she'll stay at the school to grade and do other things until late and gets home around 8 p.m. and she's tired and goes to sleep. And then on the weekends, we've just been busy doing our own things. But she moved here to Tampa Bay from North Florida to help us and just so we could have more family support here. And it's been really great. She stayed with us for a few months, like two or three months, because it was kind of a last minute decision for her to move here. And she finally found a place and it's in our neighborhood. We're so happy. Harlow and I obviously cannot lift heavy boxes or furniture. So right now my mom is over at her new place with the movers, bringing her stuff from her storage unit over. And I helped by gathering all of her kitchen stuff. So there's her coffee maker, because Judd and I don't drink coffee. So she brought her coffee maker over and just stuff from the pantry that's hers and from the fridge, her Arizona tea things that she loves. So when she's ready, it'll be easier for her to just bring it over there. And this box is actually what my infusion delivery stuff comes in. So I thought I would just keep it to help my mom move. Got an extra box. Well, my mom and I decided to come to Applebee's for a mother-daughter dinner after a long day of unpacking. No, I have an impact of moving. Of moving. So are you excited though to have your own place? Very excited. We can wave across the inlet. Well, I had a good day working with Harlow and your training with the wheelchair. Very proud of you. And a good day helping my mom move as best I could. And then going out to dinner with her. I had a few bites of mashed potatoes today, 
And I'm happy with that because yesterday I couldn't eat at all. So that's an improvement. And I'm sorry, my hips are hurting a lot. But it's alright because I've got the heating pad going. Cute pup to snuggle with. I'm hanging in there. So with that, I will say goodnight. And thanks for joining us on our adventure.